Scandal, uh, Breaking Bad. Downton Abbey. Love Downton Abbey. Breaking Bad is pretty cool. The Killing, pretty cool. I used to be obsessed by uh, Mad Men. I was obsessed with Boardwalk Empire, but in the process of working on this film, I, I can't be obsessed about anything. Right now, I'm trying, I'm trying to hold on to the last few episodes of uh, um, Breaking, uh, not Breaking Bad, I'm sorry, uh, Boardwalk Empire. It's not the end of the uh, show at all, but I've been watching that consistently. And Homeland is another one, Eastbound and Down. I really love Faulty Towers. I still watch reruns of that. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. That's it. It's the only one that matters. It's the only. I've, I haven't watched like any TV shows. I don't really watch TV ever, but Game of Thrones I got really obsessed with, mainly because I was just sick of everyone talking about it all the time and I couldn't be included in conversation, so I finally sat down and watched it and I got really, really obsessed with it. I mean, of course I'm on this Team Starks, but it's hard. It's really hard to, you know, go for the truth. I just end up hysterical crying every time. And George R. R. Martin doesn't care about me. You know, that's the tough part about that show. That's why I have Downton Abbey and I have Game of Thrones and I have to watch them simultaneously because Downton Abbey, it, like, never gets that bad. Game of Thrones, they just don't care about my feelings. I've, like, never gotten so hysterical as I get over that show. I, like, throw stuff. I have no hope for the Seven Kingdoms. I get really upset about it. My Sundays have gotten very, very uh, interesting now that Breaking Bad's gone. <laughs>